Ex-students, reformed hippies and lovers of drink, clapping and shouting for poetry. Strange, but so is John Cooper Clark. Holding down a day job in the tool room of Salford Tech, he also happens to be just about the brightest performing poet, this side of Cassius Clay. Thank you very much indeed. How long have you been working here? Doing three, three years. Three years? Yeah. No ambition. <laughs> <laughs> what do the rest of the people think about you being a poet? Oh. Well, not many of them know. <laughs> you now, we've blown me cover. Are you embarrassed about being a poet? Not really, but I mean, people can get the entirely the wrong impression, can't they? Poet, you know, it's a fellow that skips around with a butterfly in there, isn't it? This one's called You'll Never See a Nipple in the Daily Express, which isn't far, <laughs> far short of the truth when you come to think of it. I've seen letters that lost after immigrants' blood from people in Surrey, meaning nothing but good. I've seen fairy tales turned into facts concerning strikers' terrorist stats. I've seen how democracy is under duress, but I've never seen a nipple in the Daily Express. <laughs> if freedom is threatened by those who are free, then by all means hang them from the Tyburn tree. The lynch mob mentality must have its voice. This newspaper is its natural choice. Margaret Thatcher looks stunning, yes, but why no nipples in the Daily Express? <laughs> this paper is boring, mindless and mean. It's full of pornography, the kind that's clean. Where William Hickey meets Michael Caine again and again and again and again. <laughs> you'll hear all kinds of ugliness in hideous excess, but you'll never find a nipple in the Daily Express. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. One of the many strange things about John Cooper Clarke is that the new wave poet uses the old wave technique of rhyme. Yeah, well, it's, uh, if you clear up that end of things, you know, it's, you say it's... What do you mean, clear rhyme? up the end of it? Well, you can get into all sorts of problems if you don't use rhyme. You know, you can be over verbose you can, all kinds of things. If you use rhyme, it concentrates the images, disciplines them, and makes them accessible. But even without rhyme, he is eminently accessible, as in this prose intro to Cycle Sluts. This next disc. <laughs> Hipsters, flipsters, and finger-popping daddies. Concerns those pouting prima donnas found within the swelling J. Arthur ranks of the sexational cycle sluts. Those nubile nihilists of the North Circular, hell's bitch biking bells, those lean leatherette lovelies of the Leeds intersection. Whose Cro-Magnon faces and crab nebula curves haunt the highways of the UK. Whose credo of whip crack justice captures the collective libido like a lariat, delightfully disciplined, dumb but deluxe, deliciously, deliciously deranged. <laughs> 